students this is 7th standard science class and the chapter we are starting with is heat lesson i'm ashoga talking to you all children we all know we all know that we get two different types of fibers one is the natural uh, animal fiber and the plant fiber children animal fiber is woolen and plant fiber is cotton now why am i specifying only woolen fiber and the cotton fiber children it is only because of the time at what season we use this woolen clothes and the cotton clothes that means woolen clothes are used in the winter season and the plant clothes are used when it is too hot so uh, we are concentrating on the concept of hot that is why we are discussing about the clothing also so our clothing keeps changing depending on the weather condition we have a particular type of clothes which are suitable for a particular season that means these clothes have something to do with coldness and hotness of the uh, uh, inside our house also and outside the house also in the winter season what happens we feel cold inside the house and when you come out of the house children you will really you will be you will feel lit bit warm compared to when you are inside the house whereas in the summer season what happens you are inside the house also it will be very hot and when you come out of the house also it will be very hot that means the coldness or the hotness cannot be decided just like that it depends on weather condition and also it depends on some other phenomenon also then what is the criteria that means on what basis we can say whether an object is cold or hot so we need to find out we have to have certain type of uh, basic principle or a criteria to decide whether the object or the weather weather condition is very much cold or hot let us try to know uh, those concepts children in the textbook children that is 4.1 you have a small table to be completed i hope you can do it at home it's very simple you will be knowing how to do it in this table in one side they have given the objects children and in the other two columns you are supposed to be marking uh, them uh, whether they are cold and the cold objects or they are warm and hot objects first one is already been done go to the second one that is spoon in a tea cup of course it will be warm and hot fruit juice it will be cold and cool only whereas handle of a frying pan we all know frying pan will be very hot children whereas handle can be we can hold it it will be bit hot that's all uh, so that differentiation we should be trying to know that means there are certain type of objects which are cold and which are cool there is a difference between cold and cool children and at the same time there are certain type of objects which are hot and which are warm so again the though these two are related to hot and hotness but still there is a difference there objects can be hot and hotter and objects can be cool and cooler also so that is when we specify these words that is cold and cool and warm and hot let us move on to the next part of the chapter children children here you can see it is for activity 4.1 it says that we have to take three containers uh, or a tub we can take or mug also we can take three containers we have to take and uh, label it as a b and c and put cold water in container a and let container b have hot water children so container a is having cold water container b is having hot water 
and this in this container C children mix both uh, cold and the hot water. So let this container have a part of this also and a part of this also. Now after that take your left hand dip it in the cold water that is in container A. Take your left hand and dip it in container B which is having hot water. Keep your hand in these containers for 2 to 3 minutes. After that take your hands and dip it in the third one that is container C. So what do we feel children? What happens is that the left hand which was in the cold water feels the water is warm and the right hand which was in the hot water feels it is cold. That means the water which is in this container is cold or hot. It is not possible to see. It is completely confusing. That means we have to have some device or an equipment to say whether the object which is present here is how much cold or how much hot it is children. This para will tell the answer for that. That means the third container which was having a mixture of cold water and the hot water where we could not actually say whether the water or the object inside that was completely cold or hot. That can be done with a device called thermometer. So thermometer is a device which will tell us how much of temperature is present in the object. So hotness of an object is called as temperature and that can be measured by a device called thermometer. Children, that is all for today in this session. See you all in the next video class. Thank you.